Hi, welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can perfectly insert images into a Word document, multiple images, and how you can customise them so they look perfectly square. So the first thing we have to do is set up a table and it's really easy to do. Just go to insert, go to table, click on the drop down. Now I'm going to insert two columns and then selecting both those columns with this top left box I'm going to go up to table layout and you can see here the width of my cells is 7.95 so all I need to do to create square cells is to copy and paste this figure command or control C just select it and then here select that command or control V and then just press enter and here we have two perfectly square cells and all we need to do is just go to insert below and then just click twice now if you want smaller cells that's absolutely fine all you need to do is let's say put in four rows and then see what the width is and then just copy and paste the height so at the moment my cursor is the top left of each cell so in order for my pictures to be inserted into the middle I need to change that so select the table again with this top left box then in the table layout tab select center align then just click in your first cell so in order for these squares to stay exactly as they are we need to do two things select the table go to table layout where it says auto fit click on the drop down and select fix column width so select that and it will mean that the column will not go out of kilter, it will not blow up across the page and it will not expand. The next thing to do is to select the table, right click on the table, go down to table properties and then go to row and in specific height you need to click on this drop down and select exactly. Then click OK and now instead of going to insert pictures picture from file what you actually need to do is open up your images from your file on your computer so here are my images in a completely separate file and as you can see they're all perfectly square now if your images aren't square they will not fit perfectly in these squares that's obvious but if you don't that's fine because in a second I'm going to show you how you can correct it let's show you just how efficient this is you just click and drag your image across and they will perfectly fit in your cells as square images just like that then if you don't want the black lines around the outside you just highlight the table go to table design go to borders click on the drop down and select no border deselect and there your images are perfectly lined up all square just by dragging and dropping. Now you can do that for multiple pages if you want to. It's completely up to you. Just reset the table up or you can simply copy and paste the table or just continue to add cells as we did before. So if we just go back a couple of steps and insert those lines again, what if your images aren't square? Okay, so we'll take this image out and let's say we want to insert a picture from our files. Let's just go to stock images. Let's select this image here and click insert. And you can see it's inserted in the cell, but because it's rectangular, it doesn't fit the cell perfectly. So with the image selected, go to picture format, go to crop, click on the drop down, go to aspect ratio and click one to one. Then you can just move this image about left or right, up or down. You can resize it as well. Just make sure if you do, you click on the corner, hold the shift key down and then you move it. Otherwise it won't be a square anymore. And then once you're happy, press enter. You can see it doesn't quite fit the cell. And if you go onto this image here, go to picture format, and over here you'll see the dimensions of that particular image. So it's 7.57. Just select that figure, copy it, command or control C, click on the image you want to change, make sure it's checked so that this ratio is kept between the two and then highlight this figure, command or control V will copy it and just press enter. 
and your image will be the same size as everything else and it will center itself in the cell. Now you can drag and drop your images just like that but of course you'll have to go through each one and change it to square but it can be quite efficient so let me just show you how. Let's just take all these images out and I've got a whole array of different images here that I can select from. So if I literally just go through drag and drop them into my table you can see it very much does its own thing it'll align wherever it wants to align them and they're not completely the same image or the same size so now I've got all my images in I'd have to do exactly the same select my image go to picture format go to crop aspect ratio one to one select which section of the image I want press enter and up here I just enter 7.57 and press enter and then I can go ahead and do that to all the remaining images perfect and again go ahead and just select the table Go to table design, borders, no borders, perfect. Now if you've cropped all of these images perfectly and you want to actually save them as a cropped image, all you need to do is select the image, right click and go down to save as picture. And then obviously you should save it where you want to, obviously change the name. You've got the option here to choose a particular file if you want to and then just click save. That will mean you've got all of your saved square images that you can go ahead and use time and time again, but your originals will be saved in a different location or its original location. If you want to save this as a PDF, simply go to File, Save As, go to the bottom here, and you can just see, sorry, it's on the edge of my screen, it just says PDF there, and then your options are best for electronic distribution or best for printing, completely up to you, and then just click Export. So if you'd like to save this as a template, which means your original file will always be saved and you can just simply delete the images and insert new images, just go to File, Save as Template, then make sure you're on this Templates file at the top here. Obviously rename it, whatever you like. Go down to File Format and make sure you're on the Microsoft Word template file and then click Save. Now this will save when you first go into your software, you will go to your home tab, in templates, go over to more templates and then you'll have this personal section here and you'll find it within your personal section. Just open it up, use the document, when you save it, it will ask you to save it as a completely new document, saving the original in here. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.